So here we have one of our more favorite elements to use, and that is the rotating circle text. It's so popular. Everybody always wants to know how we do it, how they can do it. And, you know, it's kind of, there's a little science behind it, but essentially we are, you know, kind of telling it we want a circle path and we want to set a um, text box or text bounding box around it. Um, so, um, you know, this kind of uses a text diameter and um, this will give you the size of your block. And what this is doing is it's kind of putting a text on a circle in within a square and then we're telling that whole element to rotate. So you can kind of see that it is growing and adjusting right here, but we have everything that is hidden with or, you know, outside of our bounding box. And we're also telling it that we want a animation rotation on it. So we're going to go ahead and build this out. I'm going to grab the code and let's start on a fresh layer. So what I want to do is add, you know, that predetermined code right into an embed box. Um, and we can, we'll give this to you, but Essentially, you know, we have our text path, we have our animation rotation, how long we would like the animation rotation. We're kind of setting a font family and telling exactly how we want this path to look. So once I save it, you're going to obviously see that it's trying to kind of go on a square. So what I'm going to say is I want it to be 200 by 200 so that way we can see our whole box and this can be scaled down or it can be scaled up as big as you want it but we're kind of just determining within the embed code um, how we want the text to look um, and it's you know the size the color the fonts um, so in our sample, we just have Montserrat and we've pulled in all of the font weights. You could also determine, you know, if you want it thin. Um, so if we change this to font weight 100, then you'll see that, you know, kind of we've reduced that font weight. So you're getting a little bit more spacing right here. Um, and you could also, you know, make this normal or what have you. So, um, yeah, we'll just want to play around with the size and the font size also determines the amount of spacing you also have. So if we were to bring this down to 18, this is telling it we want it to take up less space within the diameter. Um, so you'll probably want to keep this a little bit bigger or if you have a lot of text, um, this could that would be beneficial to have it smaller. So if you have a long string of text, then go ahead and reduce this size to kind of make your text fit. Um, but we're going to go ahead and keep this 30. And in order to change your text, you're going to go up to our text path titled circle for, and then it's going to be, you're going to type in whatever you want here. So it's going to be, um, you know, evolving revenue for show it designers. So I do have a little bit of a longer path. Now, um, I think if I were to make this, you know, font weight 800 again, it might. Let's try to make it clip. So if I were to set that to 40 pixels, okay, you'll see that um, my designers is kind of m melding in with the beginning of my sentence. So if that were the case, then you'll, you could just go ahead and kind of reduce your size and make sure it's, you know, exactly how you want it. And then you're able to size up or down however you want. Um, so, you know, with our provided code, we do have our SVG ID as rotating text. Um, but in order to get a circle text that does not rotate, um, here is another example. So it's the same circle text path but it's not rotating so we're just kind of like telling it we still want it on the circle path but we do not want it to rotate 
So you would, you know, you'd use the same kind of application, except we're, we're not wanting it to rotate at all. So you could easily remove that. Um, and then if you would like multiple on here, you know, you could easily, let's say, find. I want to change all of my rotating to static. So, you know, and that will kind of stop it. So now when you preview it, it's just static. And then, you know, if you were to keep that keyframe animation in there, then you'll be rotating. And that's how we do it.